James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 29, 2022, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and ring that bell for critical future updates. If you're looking at Earth's electromagnetic shield here, you can see that we've been walloped at least once really hard. Seem to go off the charts at over 1600 hertz wow uh, a very big impact by something or we've expelled something uh, this disturbance started at around 1200 utc time it's been ongoing for around four hours this tells me that the schumann resonance is off the hook i'd also like to point out how hard the geophones are getting hit up here. And the, the fact that when we had the largest spike, for some reason the geophones did not get hit that hard. Very hard to understand there. Over to our Schumann residence, and just as expected, we see that since about 1200 UTC time, we've been in a event. Schumann residence has been spiking off the charts, exceeds 105 hertz, and probably goes much higher. You can see the geophones get hit harder and harder and harder and harder. So we're at the peak or headed towards the peak of this particular event. Now I want to take you all over to the Schumann Resonance six day comparison so we can see if anyone can come up with some kind of modeling or consistency method to this madness. I personally am not seeing anything, and that's why I'm reaching out to see if anyone has any idea of why these spikes are so varied uh, as far as what time they occur. So we're seeing Schumann spikes. Yes, a lot of the times they're occurring during the 1800 hour, but here's a day where they don't. Here's another day where they don't. You cannot pick a single hour that the Schumann has occurred all six days in a row. Now, this could be due to something that has an ellipse of orbit around us, i.e. irregular, or we could be orbiting something uh, instead of perfectly in a circle, orbiting it in a much stranger way. All right, over to our geophones. These are our geophones hourly strips. Looks like just the last three hours have been hit really, really hard. It's like we're going into more of an event right now. And this is coming off of yesterday's event right here. So we can see that uh, we're at the peak or at an increase in our geophones being hit by something hard, a force causing these spikes in the Schumann residence. Now, everyone's first question, is CERN on, James? Yes, CERN is on. It is running experiments, but I cannot make a correlation between CERN and the spikes that we're getting. I uh, have yet to been able to do so. We've had many spikes when CERN's been turned off, and I would go for an outside source i.e. my best guess. I more than welcome your guesses in the comments below and would love to know what you think might be causing the largest Schumann spikes that we've ever recorded that have been starting and occurring over about the last 24 months. God bless you and yours. Please share it. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in the bizarre world.